two things that intermittent fasters are quite obsessed about. Autophagy and coffee. I think it's what most people are thinking 50% of the time. In this video, I'm going to talk about does coffee stop autophagy? This is liquid crack. First of all, it's important to realize that there is some form of autophagy happening almost all the time in different tissues. And unless you're insulin resistant or your metabolism is broken, then you should have some basal autophagy happening continuously. Not eating any calories and fasting is an amazing way to activate autophagy, but there are other things as well, such as exercising, taking a sauna, or even drinking coffee. A single cup of coffee has about 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine and 4 to 5 calories. It's not enough to break a fast or shift you into a fair state. Now, some people may say that because you're drinking the beverage, you're gonna still stimulate your digestion by activating some liver enzymes or something else. It may be true that it's going to affect your gut bacteria or your digestive tract and even increase your metabolic rate, but I think it's not enough to shift you completely over into a fit state. All of the anabolic nutrient signalers like mTOR and insulin, they're still gonna remain suppressed so you still stay within the catabolic state of fasting. If coffee is going to break a fast state just because it stimulates your digestion, then it's safe to say that the same applies to just water. Even salted water is going to break a fast if you think that is going to happen because of that. Salted water stimulates your digestion quite a lot and I would say it's actually even more potent than drinking a cup of coffee. The polyphenols in coffee can actually stimulate autophagy. Coffee is one of the main source of dietary polyphenols in the modern diet, which can help with metabolic syndrome, Alzheimer's and diabetes. Regulation of autophagy by polyphenolic compounds is also considered as a potential therapeutic strategy for cancer. Caffeine can stimulate hepatic fat oxidation and autophagic flux in mice. It activates autophagy lysosomal pathway in the liver and down regulates mTOR signaling. Giving regular coffee as well as decaf to mice increases autophagic flux in all investigated organs like the liver, heart and muscles just 1 to 4 hours after consumption. So, the answer is no, coffee is not going to stop autophagy. It actually stimulates it and boosts the effectiveness of the fast. And yes, you can drink a few cups of coffee during your fasted period. The thing is that the autophagic benefits of coffee probably apply to just black coffee without milk or without any sweeteners. Ketone bodies do stimulate chaperone-mediated autophagy and macroautophagy in the brain, but research isn't that clear how it differs between exogenous and endogenous ketones. It is true that fat isn't going to spike insulin or mTOR and it's going to maintain this fasted state, but too many calories will still shift you into a fit state and they're going to activate mTOR even if it's just fat. Disappointed! At the most, you can get away with maybe 100 calories of fats and you can use maybe like coconut oil, MCT oil or butter. Heavy cream is somewhat iffy because it has protein and sugar in it, which will have like a much more significant effect on IGF-1 levels and anabolism. If you want to be 100% sure, then I wouldn't consume anything, just black coffee, and uh, that's gonna be safe enough for you to maintain autophagic flux. I would only use MCT oil to prolong the fast, as to not break it prematurely, so to say. But before you run into the nearest Starbucks, Keep in mind that most people, they abuse coffee and they drink way too much and they drink it at the wrong time as well. Caffeine's health life is about 5.7 hours, which means that if you drink coffee at 12 p.m., then 50% of it will be still in your system at 6 p.m. You should stop drinking coffee before 2 p.m. and ideally not in the afternoon. From a circadian rhythm perspective, it's actually a good idea to drink some coffee in the a.m. part of the day because it's going to kickstart your metabolism and put you into the right sync with the environment. If you're eating only in the afternoon or in the evening, then you're keeping your body's metabolism in a suspended state and drinking some coffee in a fasted state will basically kickstart that and it's going to enable you to stay wakeful throughout the entire day. It's going to keep your circadian rhythm in sync. This is a mug full of sunshine. So you definitely can have some coffee in a fast state and it will boost autophagy and fat oxidation and other health benefits but you should definitely avoid the negative side effects and don't become addicted to it. If you want to know how to optimize fasting and autophagy with clever meal timing, food combinations and strategic caffeine consumption, then check out my book Metabolic Autophagy. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is C. Stay autophagic, stay empowered.